welcome to Next in Line, the fourth and final episode in Quiz Omnium 3. Our players are Beth Webster, Julia Hobbs, Dave Bill, and Nick Paul. In this game, players have to give answers that appear on a series of lists. Pause too long or give a wrong answer and you are out. And the lists are Bohemian Rhapsody with 59 possible answers, Attractions with 20, Winter Olympics with 20, Motown with 23, Musicals with 43, Idris with 49, Strictly with 21, Dames with 53, and Nigella's Christmas with 16. Coming into this episode, Beth is in last place in the Quizomium, so she will pick first. Nick, who is in the lead, will pick last. Players get 5 points for winning a list, 3 points for coming second, 1 point for coming third, and they get a bonus 2 points if they win a list they picked. Beth is currently in last place in the Quiz Omnium and gets the first pick of subject. Beth, what would you like to choose? I will choose Winter Olympics, please. Winter Olympics, perhaps unsurprisingly, is Winter Olympics host cities. You have 20 of them to name. Beth, you're up first. Give us your first answer. Sochi. Sochi is correct. Julia. Innsbruck. Innsbruck is correct. Dave. Pyeongchang. Pyeongchang is correct. Nick. Vancouver. Vancouver is correct. Beth. Calgary. Calgary is correct. Julia. Turin. Turin is correct. Dave. Lake Placid. Lake Placid is correct. Nick. Salt Lake City. Is correct. Beth. Sapporo. Sapporo is correct. Julia. Oslo. Oslo is correct. Dave. Nagano. Nagano is correct. Nick. Lilyhammer. Lilyhammer's correct. Beth. Sarajevo. Is correct. Julia. Um, Sorry, that's too oh. long. And we pick up Dave. Squaw Valley. Is correct. Nick. Alberville. Is correct. Beth. Yarmish Palmerkirchen. Is correct. Dave. Samaritz. Is correct. Nick. Grenoble. Is correct. Beth. No. <laughs> Dave. Chamonix. Is correct. Nick. Cortina. Is correct. And that is the entire list. Get wow. in. So. It was the French ones I couldn't think of. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic performance. But Beth, you now get to pick a list. You won't be playing it. So uh, you might be able to get one off, uh, off, off the... Uh, shelf that you don't want to be faced with at some point. Let's go with Idris. These are films, according to IMDb, that Idris Elba has appeared in. Dave. Long Walk to Freedom. Is correct. Nick. Jungle Book. Is correct. Jungle um, Book 2. Uh, no, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so, so, so you're out. Um, so Nick wins that one. It's uh, 49. I'm glad you got that wrong, Dad, because I wouldn't have got any others either. So. <laughs> you have, um, uh, if you're into your Marvel, you've got eight Avengers oh, Age of Ultron. Of course. Oh, Idiot. Thor, Thor Ragnarok, Thor the Dark World, Zootopia. Oh, uh, just Suicide blank. Squad. Um, Pacific Ring, Prometheus, Star Trek Beyond. Quite a lot of them. If I'd have just thought about the Marvel, that's just stupid. <laughs> so, well done, Beth. You seem to have uh, done some good damage limitation there. Um, Nick won that list uh, and gets five points. Dave gets three points. And Beth gets one point. Julia, you now get to pick a list. Motown, please. Motown acts who have songs in the 50 top-selling Motown songs list of all time. Starting with Julia, go. Supremes. Correct. Dave. Stevie Wonder. Correct. Nick. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Correct. Beth. All Tops. Correct. Julia. Marvin Gaye. Correct. Uh, Dave. Diana Ross. Correct. Nick. Temptations. Correct. Beth. 
too Jenny. long, I'm afraid, Beth. Beth is out. Julia, we are back with you. Michael Jackson. Is correct. Dave. Temptations. Has been said already. Oh. Nick. Marvelettes. Is correct. Julia. Um, ah, no, I'm not. Well, so Nick takes that list as well. You could have had Boys to Men, the Commodores, oh, the God. Contours, Edwin Starr, the Isley Brothers, the Jackson Five, Jimmy Ruffin, Lionel Richie, Mother Ease and the Vandellas, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, mm -hmm. Mary Wells, and Neo, the Jewels, yeah. Neo and Rick James. Yeah. So five points there to Nick, three points to Julia, one to Dave. And Dave, it is now your choice of lists. Nigella's Christmas. This will be interesting. These are ingredients in Nigella's recipe for Christmas pudding. So, Dave. Really? Really. Dave, starting with you, go. Currants. Currants is correct. Nick. Sugar. Is correct. Um, Beth. Cinnamon. Is correct. Julia. Brandy. No, unfortunately oh. not. Um, so you're out, Julia. Dave, back with you. Sultanas. Uh, correct. Nick. Mixed spice. Uh, no, um, that is incorrect. Nick, you are out for one point. This is brutal. Beth, on to you. Flower. Flour is correct. Dave. Eggs. Eggs is correct. Beth. Ginger. Is not correct. Um, so, Beth, you get three points. Dave, you get five points. Plus, you pick the list, Dave. So you get a bonus <laughs> of two points. Um, the ingredients that were missed were apple, baking powder, breadcrumbs, cloves, Honey, lemon, prunes, sherry, suet, and she uses vodka, not brandy, oh. because she's... What, to, to set fire to it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's something wrong with her, not using mixed spice, that's an outrageous <laughs> answer. Yeah. Well, it is Nigella. It was yeah. all the risk going for Nigella. She put it in the microwave. Why she didn't use toast in it or something. <laughs> the final list gets picked by Nick. Oh, let's go for Strictly. It's one of the reality shows I do watch. So let's... <laughs> so, Nick, you will be first up answering about dances that have appeared on Strictly Come Dancing as kind of formal, regular dances, not including Couples' Choice, because they pick one of these dances, and not including dance fonds where it's one of these and they just keep going on mass. So bad Nick, idea. Well, here we go. Nick, dance please. American Smooth. Is correct. Beth. Quick step. Quick step is correct. Um, Julia. Rumba. Rumba is correct. Dave. Argentine Tango. Is correct. Nick. Foxtrot. Is correct. Beth. Beanie's Waltz. Is correct. Julia. Charleston. Is correct. Dave. Jive. Is correct. Nick. Paso Doble. Is correct. Beth. Standard Tango. Yes. Uh, Julia. Samba. Samba is correct. Dave. Cha Cha Cha. Cha 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 is correct. Nick. Rumba. Rumba has already been asked, answered, so you are knocked out, Nick. And back to Beth. Salsa. Salsa is correct. Julia. Oh, uh, uh, waltz, waltz, ordinary waltz. Waltz is correct. Dave. Uh, two step. No, that's not correct. So you're out for a point. So it's between Beth and Julia. Beth, back to you. Lindy Hop. Oh, okay, just in time, Julia. Uh, 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 um, uh, <laughs> I think that's timed out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that uh, was an actual time of dance. I didn't think it was a regular. Me neither. Uh, it, but it, it, it was. It was in one particular season. Um, <laughs> so um, Beth wins that list five points. Julie gets three. Dave has one. The dances you didn't come up with were contemporary, mm. dance fusion, 
jazz, show dance slash freestyle, street slash commercial, and swing. Oh, okay. So you really got all of the main ones. So, over the course of Next in Line, Julia scored six points towards a quiz omnium. Beth scored nine, Nick scored 11, and Dave scored 12. Over the course of the quiz omnium, Beth has scored 11 points. Julia comes third with 13. Dave and Nick have tied. Oh, well, well, so, well done, everybody, yeah. In the event of a tie, the tied players will face off on the buzzer, with the first player to three correct answers winning. An incorrect buzz allows your opponent to hear the entire question before answering. So here we go, for the title of Quiz Omnium Champion for Quiz Omnium 3. The first question on the buzzer is, which BBC sitcom that ran from 1983 to 1987 provided Martin Clunes with his first regular on-screen role? Nick. Um, it's... And there's no place like home. Yes, that is correct. Oh, it's it's answer. One featuring the uh, parents of the Crabtree family who are about to enjoy living as empty nesters until their four children all move back. Okay, uh, your second question. Which 2015 movie based on a stage play by Alan Bennett stars Maggie Smith as the title character and Alex Jennings as Alan Bennett? Nick. The Lady in the Van. Correct. Okay, so Nick already takes a 2-0 lead. Third question on the buzzer. Catherine Hahn became a meme for her hugely exaggerated wink performed as Agnes in what Marvel TV series? Dave. WandaVision. WandaVision's correct. 2-1 to Nick. Ian Hecox and Anthony Padilla were the co-founders of which YouTube channel founded in 2005 and with more than 45 million subscribers to date? Dave? Are the Sidemen? Nope. Good answer though, but no. Nick, no. I've got no idea, no. It's Smosh. Okay, next question. It's still 2-1 to Nick. Despite turning 80 years of age in November 2020, actor Sam Waterston is the youngest of the four principal cast members of which Netflix sitcom? Dave. Frankie and... What's it called? Frankie and Johnny. No. Nick. No. If I'm... No. I, Dave's eye off Ray Rock, but I can't remember what the title of it is either. I know he's yeah. in it. No, it's Grace and Frankie. Grace and so, Frankie. Uh, unlucky Dave, unlucky Dave. So, back on the buzzers. Still 2-1 to Nick. One answer will win it for Nick, two for Dave. Australian ballet dancer and actor Robert Helpman played which character, Dave? Oh. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be, I was going to say Shine, but there you go. No. no. So, Nick... The full question, Australian ballet dancer and actor Robert Helpman played which character in the 1968 film adaptation of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? The Child Snatcher. That's correct, Child Catcher, Child Snatcher is correct. Nick, you are the champion of Quiz Omnium 3. Well done. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thanks to everybody who's taken part in this competition, to Dave, to Nick, to Beth and Julia. You've all come up with some brilliant answers over the course of four matches, but there is only one champion, and that is Nick Paul. Well done, Nick. Well done, Nick. Well done, well done, Nick.